Have you ever imagined how a tiny, doubted startup could reshape the world of aerospace? When Musk founded SpaceX, the ambition was immense, but the odds were stacked against them. With its Falcon series, SpaceX introduced a revolutionary concept of reusability to space travel, drastically reducing the costs and making space more accessible. And today, they're pushing the envelope even further with the impressive Raptor 3, an engine that's three times as powerful as its predecessors and is at the heart of their most ambitious project yet, the Starship. SpaceX's Raptor engine is an extraordinary piece of technology that uses cryogenic stage combustion to power the Starship, which is envisioned as a vehicle to take us to Mars and beyond. Remarkably, it is three times more powerful than SpaceX's previous engines, the Merlin 1D, that powered Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. Unlike earlier engines that used kerosene-based fuel, the Raptor engine uses a mix of liquid methane and liquid oxygen. This full-flow stage combustion cycle has not been attempted before due to its complexity, setting a new precedent in rocket science. The Raptor also employs principles showcased in the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, such as deep cryogenics. By cooling the fuel below its boiling point, it becomes denser, allowing more fuel to be stored within the restricted tank volume. At this point, one might ask, why is SpaceX investing vast resources in producing these unique engines when they could buy ready-made engines like many other space companies do? The answer lies in SpaceX's overarching mission and vision. The company isn't just seeking to be another player in the space industry, but aims to revolutionize it and make space exploration accessible and affordable. To accomplish this, SpaceX chooses to innovate and build its own engines, ensuring they meet the specific requirements of their ambitious missions and provide the highest possible performance. This approach also allows SpaceX to control costs and continuously innovate on their designs without relying on external providers. There will be two variations of the Raptor. The first variant will power the initial stage booster of the Starship launch vehicle. The second one, optimized for operation in the vacuum of space and the Martian atmosphere, will handle interplanetary insertions and retro propulsion before landing. Musk first unveiled the design of the Raptor engine in 2016 during the International Aeronautical Congress. He also introduced SpaceX's Mars transport architecture. The Raptor was a breakthrough, a cleaner burning engine that was unfortunately also complex and challenging to produce. Its thrust capacity maxed out at 185 tons, making it less suitable for ambitious missions to Mars. To meet Musk's requirement for a Mars-bound starship, SpaceX developed the Raptor 2. It incorporated several performance and reliability upgrades, but to keep costs low, SpaceX introduced the Raptor 3. The objective was to produce the Raptor for under $250,000, making space exploration more affordable. The Raptor 3 engine was put through rigorous tests and proved itself beyond all expectations. The test footage revealed an awe-inspiring spectacle as the Raptor 3 demonstrated its power. Musk revealed on Twitter that the Raptor 3 generated an incredible thrust force of approximately 269 tons and operated at a chamber pressure of 350 bars, an astonishing figure that outperforms many well-known rocket engines. The Raptor 3's impressive performance indicates SpaceX's commitment to innovating and pushing the boundaries of rocket technology. The chamber pressure of an engine plays a crucial role in creating powerful thrusts. When the pressure within the combustion chamber increases, the propellants are expelled more forcefully, resulting in higher velocities through the engine's nozzle. This forceful expulsion, according to Newton's third law of motion, creates an equal and opposite reaction, providing the necessary thrust to propel the rocket forward. Higher chamber pressures allow for a higher thrust-to-weight ratio, a vital parameter in rocket science. A better ratio means the rocket can carry heavier payloads or achieve higher acceleration. The flexibility higher pressure offers to engineers allows for the design of compact and lightweight engine designs capable of performing a variety of mission requirements, including crewed missions, deep space exploration, and satellite deployments. Although the Raptor is still in its developmental stages, just like the Merlin engine was in its early days, we can expect it to evolve as SpaceX continues to test, build, and improve. In the midst of talking about these advancements, it's worth remembering the unfortunate incident on April 20th. 
This was when a starship, powered by the Raptor 2 engine, experienced an explosive disintegration in the skies above Texas. The Starship launch system, which is SpaceX's largest and most powerful rocket, had a moment of seemingly flawless operation, but the harsh reality of rocketry soon kicked in. The massive launch vehicle disintegrated in a fireball, providing a stark reminder of the challenges faced in the pioneering world of space travel. While some may argue this was a failure, SpaceX and many industry observers do not. As is common in the field of space exploration, it is often through explosive mistakes during test flights that companies learn and reach their goals. The Starship sits at the heart of SpaceX's dreams of sending humans to the Moon and Mars. It's designed to ferry countless tourists and thousands of the company's Starlink Internet satellites into orbit, so every test is a high-stakes endeavor. While no rocket has ever carried as many engines as the Starship and Super Heavy did, during the flight, it appeared not all of Super Heavy's 33 engines fired successfully for several minutes. Ultimately, something went awry at stage separation, resulting in an unexpected and unwanted fireworks display. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying the Raptor 2 engines are bad. It's just that rocket science is hard and things sometimes go wrong. We hope that with the advancements in the Raptor 3 engines, such mishaps will be less likely in the future. While SpaceX is continuously breaking barriers and setting new standards, its competitor, Blue Origin, has recently faced a significant setback. During a test firing on June 30th, a B-4 engine exploded about 10 seconds into the test. This disastrous event destroyed the engine and inflicted severe damage on the test stand infrastructure. This incident is a stark reminder of the risks and uncertainties in the development of rocket engines. That's all for today, folks. If you've enjoyed our exploration of SpaceX and its game-changing Raptor 3 engine, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.